Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Great Day Houston. Have you ever had a dream or a fairy tale that you gave up on or never even pursued because, after all, it's a fairy tale? Well, our first guest today was about to give up, and God picked up, landing her a job with one of TV's most iconic people, Oprah Winfrey. Please welcome Stacy Ike. Hello there. Hi. Uh, <laughs> this is such a, a great story that you tell because so many people are in that same space, yeah. but we don't get to the end game, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All right, so you are, by the way, welcome back home. Thank you. Yeah, Sugar Land girl. Here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when did you first get interested in journalism, which led you to the job that you have today? Yeah. I would say high school. I was 15, you, you know, doing the programs in school and, and doing the broadcast news and all that kind of stuff. And then eventually you're looking for colleges and you're all of a sudden you start looking for journalism colleges without really knowing that that's kind of what you were really, really interested in. So I started. Yeah, because when, when you go to college, that's when it gets yeah, real. Yeah, you're like, oh, this is like, serious. You need to graduate with a job. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. So you get the major. And so I went to University of Missouri. I studied broadcast journalism yeah. there. had an incredible time. And once I was in that field, I thought, okay, wow, this is something I want to pursue, but in my own way. And it was kind of nerve wracking because when I graduated, I actually did look for one journalism job. Yeah. After you graduated from college, you did yeah. something that was not quite the norm for most people. You <laughs> yeah. took off for the land down under. Australia, why Australia? I did. So I've just always been obsessed with it. Um, the church, Hillsong, um, very familiar church to me. I grew up on their music. I was in this mood where I was like, I want to be in a big, big church, and I want to expand my faith, and I also want to try acting and try this and take my moment, because again, the agreement with your parents is do the journalism degree, right. finish that, and then we can talk about this other stuff. It was time to talk about the other stuff. So I decided to do it in Australia, and that was that was a great decision. Yeah, yeah. and in terms of the business, you kind of took in everything, because we usually say either you want to be an actor or right. you want to be a journalist. Right. You, you did all of it. Yeah. yeah. You head out for L.A. Yeah, so I moved to L.A. in 2014, top of the year. I thought I had a job when I first moved to L.A. I uh, found out two weeks in very quickly that I did not. And so that was the moment where you're like, okay, I'm here. Uh, this is not where I'm sink from. Sink or swim. Yeah. And it's sink or swim, and it's extremely important to take Take hold of your time and how you spend your time and prioritize and strategize. And that's when I started really getting just smart with, with networking and learning and being so open to knowing that I don't know everything. Yeah. And this is the be best city to find out you know, what yeah. I don't know. And doing freelance gigs, you're Absolutely. able to do a variety of different things. And then one day you meet this woman <laughs> that we all know <laughs> named you know. Oprah. <laughs> okay, so had you met her before Not, in person? No, okay, no, so were you starstruck when you saw her? You know what? I'm going to say yes, but I think it felt so, I felt very at peace meeting yeah. her too because she has this presence that you've met her well, she before. She was everybody's girlfriend. She's everybody's, everybody's mom, everybody's aunt, friend. right? And so when you meet her, everything you feel about her from long distance really feels that way in person. Yeah. And so it was incredible because we have this moment together. I think, okay, you have a moment with Oprah. Are you going to go deep or are you going to make her laugh? I yeah. chose to make her laugh because I knew I had a minute. Yeah. And so I ended up talking to her about emojis, avocados, cookbooks. <laughs> And it was, it was a done deal. And that was a done yeah, deal. Well, was, not quite a done deal. You, little did you know what kind of done deal that would be. I know. So you, you, you met her, and then you're like, hey, yeah. uh, you need to come on my show sometime. Right. Right? Well, the thing is, so I met her twice before that moment happened. I met her once, and you think, again, you don't ever think you're going to meet her again. Yeah. You think, this is a great time. Let's mark this day as, the, as yeah. history and move on. I met her. She had fuzzy slippers on. Yeah. And, <laughs> and she was like in between interviews. I was like, nice. That's right? pretty awesome. Um, and so the second time I met her, I said, she she'd mentioned, hey, I actually just saw your podcast because I was interviewing cast of her show Greenlee yeah and so of course I'm stunned because I don't believe you how is that possible yeah and she but that's said, gonna yeah. be very cool very um it's, it's basically encouraging that absolutely. the fact that she goes I saw your podcast absolutely because as we know with Oprah she's one of those people who has her hand in every bit mm -hmm. of her business mm -hmm. so she so she said she had watched the show and she I, I blurted out well when are you gonna come on uh -huh. Because that's what you blurt out. Yeah. And so I blurted that out too, know. and um, and she didn't come. But anyway, <laughs> um, actually, I went up there to interview her, so that was okay. It was okay. That's pretty great too. And so she she ended up calling in, had an incredible twenty minutes with her, with me and uh, my other castmates or hosts, and it was beautiful. Yeah. And then of course, little yeah, if it had, it, had it had ended right there, you'd have been like, I that's had great Oprah on my show. Yeah. I'm done, right? And but something couple, else happened. A couple of months later. I got a call and it said that Oprah was a big fan and she was starting a new show that was going to be about Greenleaf and was going to talk all things Greenleaf with the cast and, and different other topics and my name was in the pool. And it just, you can't, can't really imagine what that feels like until you get to the moment where you walk in the room and it's really your job, it's yeah. really your moment. And, and there wasn't a long process, it was very, it was very God. It was extremely God ordained, it was extremely planned before I was around. Like, it was just something that was, I, I don't usually believe in perfection, but that was perfect. 
Yeah, that moment. And that moment was absolutely perfect. And so, you know, we, we had the show on tonight. We have to get into the Charity and Jabari situation. Uh, oh, is this yeah. hug too intimate? With no, short hair all the time. In, in, in her mind. Oh, it's a tiny pants. Stop <laughs> it. Tiny. We can have this Houston moment where all three of us are from Houston. Like, <laughs> yes. H Town in the building? Can oh, I have to say, we just had an amazing one hour live TV show. Oh. We're able to do such incredible things with the, sh with the network and try something new. And I think that's when everything kind of raised in me that there's so much fairy tale to, to live. There's yeah. so much greatness to, to have. And so many people who give up on that fairy tale. So Absolutely. you have fight for your fairy tale yeah. right here. So which is kind of the the um, the words right in front of you. You want yeah. people to have those words right in front of them because words can be very powerful, obviously. Absolutely. So tell us about this line. So I started fight for your fairy tale in 2017 when I was walking into mine and not really realizing that all the hard work and all the trials, the tribulations, the lessons, the moments led up to this this fairy tale, but also it taught me that the fairy tale goes so much beyond one moment. Yeah. Sometimes you think that there can only be one cool job or there's only one chance and that's just it's so <laughs> Give not me true. one moment in you know? time. That's right? it. <laughs> okay, she can sing also, <laughs> by the way. Um and and that moment when I actually got to speak with Oprah as well later on and she was so encouraging she was telling me what she loved about the show what she wanted to help me edit change and i just couldn't believe how wonderful things were going with this job and and with like i guess the space i was living at that time and i i realized that there was a fight that led to this moment and that the fight was the fairy tale was in the fight yeah and so it just really helped me say that out loud and before you know it, people gravitated towards it and i really wanted people men women children to feel that they have their fairy tale and that it does exist and that greatness is possible and yeah. that God is that good. And so that's kind of where the line came. And if you could speak to, we'll wrap up with, the struggle is not the bad part. No, it's where the, all the lessons come. It's where all the, oh, the growth. The growth is the best part. It's, it's changing and finding different versions of yourself and going towards the best version of yourself. And I think that's the, the most important thing about the struggle, especially when we sit down and identify, okay, this is less of a struggle and more of a time to learn. Yeah. yeah. All right, Stacey, yeah. thank you very much course, for coming you. by and talking with us. So what's next for you? Oh, so much going on this year. Uh, OTS Productions, starting a line, uh, starting a production company and creating different content, especially inter entertainment and inspiring content. I also just started a web talk series, so I'm really excited about that. That encourages different young, affluent celebrities as well as just different people coming yeah. up in the industry and having a, a very candid conversation with them and acting. And finding out how they fought for their fairy tale. Every single day. All right, Stacey Ike, thank you very thank much. You. you can catch up with her on greatdayhouston.com.